Liverpool. Which is pretty exciting. It's very exciting. We're gonna be exploring all over the city today, checking out some Beatles stuff and some other stuff, trying some, some Liverpool foods. Let's go. We're starting our day here at the Beatles story. We're with our friends Sean and Caroline. They have a channel called See Sean Vlog. And you haven't been to Liverpool before oh, either. It's our first time as well. Exciting. Yeah. It's our all of our first time. Let's go do some Beatles stuff. <laughs> This museum is kind of almost interactive in that they have displays of like the things that were significant throughout their career. So like right now we're in a replica of the Cavern Club and we can actually go to the Cavern Club, but you can also kind of like see everything that like spans their career um, in significance in one place, which is pretty neat. The Beatles played at the Cavern Club 292 times. No wonder they're so synonymous with the Cavern Club, even though other people like Eric Clapton and the Kinks have also played there. Jeremy's trying to figure out what cool records they have here. Are you stealing the records, Jeremy? They wouldn't They're work very well. Records. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're smooth, are they? We went there. We wrote on this wall. We did, we did write on that wall. We did, except I was boring and I just wrote Kara. I think I just wrote Jeremy. <laughs> if I had known all we had to do was write Beatles lyrics, I could have done that. Instead I just wrote my name. Those are some of the scariest things I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I want this piece of furniture though. Oh, that is really neat. I want these these stockings. stockings yeah, an authentic beetle wig. <laughs> We're about to go into an actual yellow submarine. <laughs> There's a blue meanie, and it's pretty sweet. Oh, there is a blue meanie. We went there too. I love how tiny those cute little baby Jimmy Dodgers are. <laughs> Jeremy got a Jimmy Dodger hot cocoa. Yeah. And I have a latte. Jeremy, those, those Jimmy Dodgers on small go just eight foot. <laughs> <laughs> that was really neat. I think if you were coming on a cruise ship or or didn't have a lot of time here, that would be a really good way to see like introductory Beatles experience, like a one and done. Next up. We're heading to a cathedral to try a well-known Liverpool dish. We interrupt this segment about food for a message about food. Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. We love trying new foods while we're traveling and that's one of the reasons we love HelloFresh. They deliver stress-free recipes and fresh pre-portioned ingredients right to your door. We love to try new recipes all the time and that can be pretty overwhelming, but HelloFresh makes that easy. They provide you with the recipes. So you don't have to drive down to the supermarket and track down all the new ingredients just to try one new meal. We've been using HelloFresh for over five years now and we love them because they allow us to cook amazing dishes that we wouldn't normally attempt to try on our own. And spoiler alert, they're delicious. This week they sent a few different recipes. Last night we had bulgogi pork tenderloin. It was amazing. Today I made a creamy caramelized onion chicken with apple, walnut, carrot, ribbon salad. Oh yeah, that chicken is really good. I love that the sauce has caramelized onions and they put cream cheese and creme fraiche in it. So it has this like creamy onioniness to it. It's really, really nice. HelloFresh is offering our subscribers an amazing deal. If you use our code Carrot and Jeremy, you'll get 50% off your first box and 35% off your next three boxes. Use that code or click the link in the description to order your first HelloFresh box today. And now back to Liverpool. Is it just me or does it seem like every cathedral we go in here just gets taller and taller? <laughs> that is a fair observation. <laughs> We've come to the Liverpool Cathedral. It looks massive on the outside and it is just equally massive and just so impressive looking at it on the inside. 
This is one of the largest, if not the largest cathedral I've ever been to. You were saying that this is the tallest, or the biggest cathedral? This is the um, biggest cathedral in the UK, yeah. So it's the tallest and, and biggest. Wow. And there's quite a few, and I've been in a few of them, so I definitely know. <laughs> I was also just reading that it's the fifth largest cathedral in the world, and that the person who designed it is also the person who designed the red telephone boxes here in the UK. So that's pretty random and pretty fantastic fact. <laughs> I was told to sit here. Hi, Kevin. Oh, that's so weird. How are you doing? I'm fine. Why are you all the way over there? But I can hear you right now. It is weird. Sean is all the way over there on the other side, but we are whispering to each other and can hear each other. That's so odd. Weird. It is weird because as soon as I walk away from there, like Jeremy's still sitting talking with Caroline, I can hear Jeremy, but I can't hear her and I'm just a couple feet away from him. So that's very interesting acoustics. <laughs> One of the things about this cathedral that's exciting to me is that they also have a little cafe and we're gonna try the Liverpool food scouse here at this cafe inside of the cathedral. Right as we sat down to eat, they started what sounds like tuning the organ. <laughs> But we are gonna try Scouse for the first time, which is a traditional stew that is a, a very common thing in Liverpool. Oh my gosh, it's done. The internet told us that this is one of the best places that you can get it here in Liverpool. Oh, at least we're getting an actual song this time, maybe. <laughs> I don't love the pickled cabbage, but I do love the scouse. This place is beautiful, but that organ, yeah, the food great. That organ is a lot right now. <laughs> I'll quickly run through some of the things we're gonna be looking at today. Obviously, the likes of the houses where the guys used to live. We'll be looking at Penny Lane, Strawberry Field. There really is a lot of places in quite a short amount of time. We'll be stopping at Arnold Grove the birthplace of George Harrison and also the McCartney family home. You just sit back, relax and enjoy Party. the ride. Not only is this a very educational bus where we're going to see way more things than we would have seen on our own here, yeah. but that we actually get to stop at some of the locations like we just got our picture with Penny Lane. It's pretty it's very exciting. exciting. It, it is. is. It, I mean, it's very exciting. It is actually really exciting. It's really cool. <laughs> there is actually an Ellen Rigby buried here at St. Peter's. So neat. Yeah. I mean, these are replicas, but it's pretty cool that they so did they look like. reinstall it. Yeah. Strawberry Fields not only has a tiny door, but also a tiny window. <laughs> I think what I like about this tour is not only like do we get to get out like we just got out and looked at Strawberry Field and but we got to hear like why the the line there's nothing to get hung about like what that's about and the same thing with Penny Lane like hearing about how it's not just about the street but like the area and just the the significance of the places in Liverpool so that's it's just really neat it's really cool <laughs> That was a really cool tour, and it dumped us here on Matthew Street, right outside of the real Cavern Club. Yeah, we could go check out the real Cavern Club. Oh, and our tickets for it include that, yeah. so let's do that. Jordan Knight, they've certainly piqued my interest. <laughs> It is so cool in here. I had no idea there was so much memorabilia. It's almost like a hard rock cafe or something. But kind of cool. Yeah, it, it is, it <laughs> is. Because actual rock history happened here. <laughs> yeah, there. We wish we had more time in Liverpool because we didn't get to see as much as we had hoped. Please let us know what we should check out next time because we will definitely be back. We are traveling to York next. We stopped in Manchester, but we won't have a full video, so make sure you check out our Instagram and TikTok for videos not included here on YouTube. We'll see you soon in the amazing, wonderful, beautiful city of York.